welcome back again so today i'm going to talk about a topic so this topic is very interesting so top 10 list of most attractive career in life sciences suppose if you are studying microbiology biochemistry or bi biomedical sciences or food sciences or botany or zoology or whatever life sciences what's going to be the top 10 list of most attractive career in life sciences i'll be talking in case of india as well as globally how the market goes for all these uh, positions so let's talk about the complete topic in detail so what are the top 10 important or attractive career in life sciences so uh, we'll be talking about you can become a scientist or medical scientist or a lecturer or professor in a college or biotechnologist or food inspector in India or food specialist in the entire world or if in case of India you can enter into Indian forest service which is a government job or you can become a biomedical engineer or epidemiologist and biochemist and biophysicist the next microbiologist and the last zoologist and wildlife biologist so let's talk all the 10 careers in detail so now let's talk about the scientist or medical scientist so what are the scopes that are going to be there and what is the role of a scientist or a medical scientist medical scientists are usually a physician who will carry out their research or the other scientist is going to be a microbiologist becoming a scientist or a biochemist becoming a scientist or genetic engineer becoming a scientist all this thing so the role and responsibility is definitely going to be conducting a research in order to find out the problems for a solution very specifically in the healthcare industries and how much does an average scientist or a medical scientist in india is going to get so in India, if we have to talk about initially at the entry level, you might get 55,000 to 60,000 for one month, which is a good salary when you're starting level itself, you're going to get this amount. Later, as you upgrade from Scientist A to Scientist G and Scientist H, whether it is in any government organizations like CSIR, ICMR, DBT, or it can be DRDO or ISRO, whatever it is. So the pay is kind of going to increase, we can say. The next one, what about in case of the global scenario? In US, an average salary of a scientist is going to be $84,000 for one year. So this is the exact value or the average salary of a scientist in India as well as the entire world market, we can say. What is the job outlook? Is it going to be the next future? Suppose if I have to talk about can a scientist stay longer? Of course. So we know that a scientist job is definitely going to be a guarantee job because we know we keep on doing a lot of research. So about 2028, it is believed that this job or this profile is definitely going to be 8% as fast as average growth is going to be. So which means you can definitely go for this because 2020 we are calculating about it. So definitely this job is a guarantee job for you so that you can proceed on and by 2018 it is believed that almost 10,600 even more jobs of scientists is going to increase which means you can definitely take up a scientist and become a medical scientist so this is an attractive and a wonderful and a guaranteed job career if you are belonging to a life science okay what's the next one lecturer or professor yes you can become a lecturer if you have your phd along with csar net or if you have qualified any other examinations or if you have only a phd or you have your postdoctoral positions abroad then definitely a lecturer or a professor can join in any part of the world it's not only restricted to india you can join as a lecturer or professor in the entire world so you all of you know the roles and responsibility is definitely going to take a project as well as you're going to help the students what's the average salary of a lecturer or a professor at the entry level i'm talking about the government professor or a lecturer at the initial level so at the entry level 40k to 60k 60000 per month you can get if you join a government university or government colleges what is the case in case of the us in us eighty thousand dollars per year you can earn if you become a professor in a college or in a university what's the job outlook outlook now yes it is also believed that in 2018 11 percentage it's going to increase as fast as it is now so which means becoming a professor or a lecturer is also going to be a safer point and a guarantee positions and attractive career if you are belonging to life science 
The next one is biotechnologist. Yes. So many used to hear this word like biotechnologist usually earns a bit less. But I'm going to tell you biotechnologist, if you have the skill, definitely you can earn. But you need to know where exactly you have to land up. So you need to know where you need to land up and what you have to do. What are the skills you need to upgrade? Then definitely biotechnology is definitely going to be the mere future. What's the role and responsibility? Yes, they used to develop a lot of new research protocols or design research projects. Everything is going to be the role of a biotechnologist. What is the average salary of a biotechnologist in India? So in India, if I have to talk about as an entry level, 25,000 per month as your experience, then definitely this amount is going to increase. This is in case of India. But you can see the average salary in the US which is $91,000, which is literally high. So I would suggest that biotechnology is going to be a worth field that if you are going to take it as a profession. So this is the average salary. And what's the job outlook? By 2028, it is believed that massive growth, even then a lecturer and a professor, 15.6 percentage, there's going to be a gradual growth as fast as an average for now. So biotechnology is definitely going to be a wonderful career <laughs> Mm -hmm. chosen this in a life science stream. The next one, of course, I'm going to talk about a food inspector in India or you can become a food specialist in any part of the world. In case of India, you can gain a government job becoming a food inspector. So I'm going to talk in detail about the food inspector in India. You can watch out the video based on the food inspector also. What are the examinations you can write? And you can also watch out the video how to become a food inspector also. It inspects quality of foods. Definitely if you become a food inspector, you're going to analyze the food. And how much is the average salary in India? You're going to get almost 2.7 lakh to 8.1 lakh for one year. It's an average salary, not usually 2.7 lakh. It would be in between of 4 to 5. So this is going to be in case of India I'm talking about because becoming a food inspector in India is worthwhile. It's a government job. So you can go for it. And it's also believed in India by 2028, there is going to be a gradual growth of this job by 11.6%, which is a massive growth. So you can definitely take up food inspector. What's the next one? Indian Foreign Service. It's not Indian uh, Foreign Service. It is Forest Service, which is IFS. So Indian Forest Service also you can become the role of a forest officer is to take care of the wildlife and to look around the forest life or to protect the forest life. That's the responsibility of an Indian Forest Service officer. And what's the average salary in case of India? So this is an Indian Forest Service. So I'll be talking about the Indian situation. So you can get at the entry level itself 40 to 60,000 per month. So this is a wonderful opportunity because at initially itself, like a professor in a government college, you're going to get 40 to 60K. It's a very good salary I can suggest and what's the job outlook it's believed that by 2028 seven percentage of growth is going to take place if you join in Indian forest service as a forest officer or there are many designation which is literally given but this is applicable only to India not to the other part uh, there are some other position in the entire world okay these are the five things that we have talked about what are the rest five important most attractive career if you're belonging to a life science of course, there's going to be a biomedical engineer. Yes. So what's the role of a biomedical engineer? As a biomedical engineer, you used to design, you used to create equipment, you used to design a product, you used to uh, innovate yourself in software technologies, everything. So what is the average salary of a biomedical engineer? Biomedical engineer being there in India or being in the entire part of the world is worth taking it. So in India, the average salary is going to be 370000 per month initially. And in the US, you can see it's literally maximum, which is 9 lakh or we can say 95,726 per year US dollars. So which is a very good amount for a year. And this is believed in 2028, four percentage growth is going to take place. And it's also believed that by two, two, 2018, there's going to be 700 more jobs you will be finding for a biomedical engineer. If you're a biomedical engineer, the growth rate is definitely going to increase. What about the epidemiologist? So these people used to investigate the pattern and what is the causative of the diseases. And then they try to reduce the risk of the diseases. So that is the role of 
uh, epidemiologist or you can say infectious disease they used to deal with and the average salary in India is definitely going to be if you are belonging or entering into a government sector then your salary would be 4,50,000 to 8 lakh per year. And suppose if you are entering into any of the private sector into a company, then you will be getting 5 lakh to 10 lakh per year. So this is a wonderful growing field that you can join. What about in case of a US? US, you're going to get almost 73,561 US dollars for one year. And now if we have to talk about the job outlook, what about the job outlook? Here you can see 5 percentage increase is going to take place by 2028. So you can definitely choose this one also projected employment change is going to be 400 more jobs you'll be seeing in 2018 so definitely you can go for epidemiologist the next comes biochemist and biophysicist so i'll be talking about if you are a biochemist or if you are a biophysicist then this is for you so usually we know the role of a biochemist and the biophysicist they used to analyze the physical chemical nature of any kind of cell so what's the average salary in case of us in us it's going to be maximum and in india it's 3 lakh 60 thousand to 8 lakh 70 thousand for one year and in us it is 93 thousand dollars which is a very huge amount if you become a biochemist and biophysicist you can enter into most of the fields if you become a biochemist and what's going to be the job outlook six percentage growth is going to take place by 2028 and almost 1900 more jobs are going to be vacancy for you if you become a biochemist and biophysicist globally i'm telling you and a microbiologist what about a microbiologist so we already know about the roles of a microbiologist is to analyze the microorganism and to find out uh, what kind of drugs can be given to the microorganism what's the average salary in case of india i'm telling you a biochemist a biophysicist or a microbiologist Everybody has a job in the entire world because it's a common streamline where you can land up in most of the countries in the world, even in India. So in India, it's 3,60,000 for one year. And in the US, you can see $71,000 approximately for one year you can get. What's going to be the job outlook? The job outlook you can see by 2028, 5 percentage growth is going to take place. So you can definitely go for this job as well. And there are going to be 1,100 more jobs that you can see by 2028. It's not 2018, it's 2028. So this is all about the microbiologist. If you're going to ask me a question, can a zoologist or an ecologist or a wildlife biologist, can they get a job in the entire world? Definitely, yes. So I'm going to tell you the zoologist and the wildlife biologist. So what are the roles and responsibility for them? We already know the study about the animals and other wildlife things and the average salary in India it's definitely going to be rupees 5 lakh for one year and in US it's going to be 72,000 US dollars and if I have to talk about how is the growth rate going to be when it's going to be 2028 it's going to be 5 percentage increase and the projected employment change is going to be 900 more extra jobs you can see by 2028 so so I was talking about the most important attractive career in life science field. Suppose if you are a life science candidate looking for some wonderful opportunity, then I'm going to tell you scientist is definitely a wonderful field. Becoming a lecturer or a professor is a wonderful field. Becoming a biotechnologist is a wonderful opportunity. Becoming a food inspector is also going to be. And if you can become a forest officer in Indian Foreign Service, or becoming a biomedical engineer or you can also become epidemiologist or you can become a biochemist or a biophysicist or you can become a microbiologist or you can become a zoologist and a wildlife biologist. So I've been talking about the top 10 list of most attractive career for all the life science candidate. So look around the video and check for your opportunities which is on the line. Thank you all of you for your time. I believe that this video is helpful for all of you. So if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel Biotechnica. Thank you all of you.